It has been just about a year now since we've had Forza Horizon 2 and now miss? Turn 10 Studios have now made Forza 6. Now is this is one game that I've been looking forward to for races and now the demo has Far been released on Xbox Live for us all to enjoy. Now being honest, you know, you always think that these Forza games place. are going to be the same, but actually it isn't. There's a few additions that they've learned from Forza Horizon 2 that have made this a much better game and one that is definitely one to watch for Welcome for Racing Game of the Year. Now again, it starts at the end of the demo, the you probably will start in the main game. Beach, you go through and you play through the tutorial and that's in essence teaching I'm you through the steering, rewinds and changing the camera angles of which, for my personal favourite, is always in car view. Now, notable differences I find is that the controls, now the cars are a lot more slidier depending on which car you have. I mean the forward car that you drive in now is one that you unlock if you play the demo and link to your Xbox Live account. It's very slidey, but there's a lot of grip there when you use it correctly. In the uh, tutorial at the beginning, you know, you don't really get the assists on, so you don't get a real feel for, for the breakings until you play a bit later on with the car again. As you can see, I've made a bit of an error there. Um, the outside camera view is just as stunning. The visuals, again, these guys do a fantastic job of seeing it. And, you know, what's added bonuses when you can get different editions digitally or normal. You know, the digitally one, there's several different options you can get, which includes a VIP pass race. and an option to play a day, well, not a day early, but a week early, which you'll see at the very end of the video, the options volumes. that you've got. Now, the way that the career is structured, looking at what's shown in the demo, is you know, you've got different classes based on the different cars, racers. and it's a bit different. You, you, know, you don't, in my past experience of Forza world. games, I got a bit bored, first, especially I'll Forza 4, and you know, you just keep plowing through monotonous and you know there's no enjoyment whereas the Forza Horizon series there's always something nice to do and it's never the same the second time round. I think Forza Horizon is not Forza Horizon, Forza 6 is a lot lot better and it focuses on different aspects which you can include thing called mods. Now these things change your gameplay style where you have to be forced to use a camera view and you can ch change things to have you know, increased performance, you know, lack of traction control, you can buy these mods using your credits that you get. Whether now, there's ones that I showcase here, there's a few different stay. things, some give you different Mods perks to different the tracks, the one which happen. very briefly shows the Yas Marina circuit, which gives Select you about 16% more grip, and, and at the, the very beginning you do get, get a starter Reveal pack, so to speak, and you get to see all the options, you get extra cash if you finish well, or if you finish the race, improved grip position, well now you get a choice. You can only have three at the beginning, whether you unlock any more, I don't you know. Which mods you'll use. But it's, 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 it's good, it's a good change that they've made for, for this game race. to improve it. Whether it works online, there's no online Select on the demo, so I've yet to comment mod. and I won't know until the full game comes out. And with all the assists and everything turning off, I find that you know the difficulty of the avatars, the, the AI, it's improved. It's a lot more difficult than it used to be and easier to work your way through the track. Now for me, you know, based on your drive to our ability, some people are just dirty players. Me, I don't use my brakes very well and I admit that, but it's still good fun and you know it's good to learn the more you play and um, handling the different cars and each detail of the cars are really good. Now when you play through, you get to unlock different race day events, so there's one which uses Indianapolis circuit racing in Indy cars, so to speak, and that's one that you play in the demo. Now, as you can see here, you know, this is one that forces you to use the rear cam camera, which you know is actually a better thing in these kind of races, as you can see, because to be honest, inside the car you're not going to get a good aspect of the speed against other races that are going dead quick. So as you'll see here, as soon as it loads up and I've loaded up the mods, you'll see a quick demo of going through the Indianapolis circuit. Now it's a very challenging race. I've had to restart and use the rewind button several times because I end up keep crashing into the back because you, know, you don't want to lose speed on these type of races. You just want to go full and flat out and that's where mistakes happen. And when you pass the field you have to lap until the end. As you can see there that's where I made my mistake. And then I'll end up using the rewind button. Quite good fun and then towards the back end in a minute you'll see the first race where it showcases the rain. Now this is what you've done really, really well using puddles, you know, you've inspected the actual track, as you've probably seen in the videos they've shown, is that, you know, you go over these puddles, you lose speed, you know, there's not much grip out there, you've got to be very, very careful of how quick you go, and again, I've kept the mod on, which I regret doing in this one, because these kind of races are like to have the in car view, you know, the weather dynamics really good, you've got to break early, otherwise you're going to have to be able to smash right into the back, 
you go in on anything but the main tarmac and you go off in the grass and just apple plane you straight off into the barriers and you'll end up causing damage and not only that you'll end up not winning the race either and this one is two and a half minute lap you know it's behind the second place person for most of the race but only towards the back end when you know i really pushed myself to actually get the first place at the end so i hope you enjoyed the preview um, stay tuned for more when i do my video review and have a look at the end of this video and see which one of the bundles you get you can get from all the retailers digitally as well the ultimate edition is one that I'm going for personally, which includes all the packs and tracks. So make sure you subscribe to Down Select Start and follow me on Twitter at the same time.